Many of us are finding ourselves in front of screens, whether working from home, learning remotely, even doing those video chats with loved ones. Well, all that screen time as doctors wondering how it affects our health. WFMY News 2's Grace Holland has a closer look at what doctors are calling screen apnea. I want you guys at home to take a deep breath with me. <sighs> Did you notice you've been breathing shallow even if you're just sitting at home on the couch? Weird, right? It turns out it's called screen apnea, and most of us hold our breaths while looking at screens like your TV. A doctor at Novant Health explained to me why that happens. It's because we're focusing so much on the screen and focusing so much on how we appear or what we're next going to say. Dr. Russ Greenfield says that can affect people of all ages, with workers spending the day in Zoom meetings and students learning virtually. Experts say screen apnea can disrupt sleep, lower your energy, and increase stress, all because you're not breathing deeply. Here we are using uh, Zoom and all these different meetings to try and communicate and keep ourselves safe, but if we don't take care of ourselves in the midst of those meetings, we might actually be doing some un undue harm. You probably can't stop working in front of a screen if you're working from home, but Dr. Greenfield says there are three things that can help. First, posture. Instead of leaning into your computer, sit up. I use a pillow to help with this. Second, take breaks when you can, no matter your age. And third, since this is all about breathing, take more deep breaths. Dr. Greenfield says that yoga and meditation can help with that, but just thinking about it can make a big difference on its own.